the outside view, cool and plain. The concept behind it, revolutionary. The largest new art museum development project in Germany. Here in Mannheim, new rooms for the Kunsthalle Museum were created. Rooms providing a modern access to art. The opening ceremony was also worth a visit from Federal President Frank-Walter Steinmeier. The broadness of public engagement perpetuated to this day for the Kunsthalle is unique as well. Especially for this I want to express heartfelt congratulations to you and everybody involved. We are attempting to address social strata that are not yet our visitors, young people, who move completely differently in the world. And we try to extend and deepen the experience of the magical place Kunsthalle Mannheim. Behind this is the digital strategy. Every visitor finds their own individual interactive path through what the museum offers and becomes an art producer her himself in the creative lab. And the and the nucleus of innovation in this digital strategy is the Creative Lab, a workspace where we can continually research which experiential and interactive formats are useful for an authentic art experience. Auf Sinnhaftigkeit für ein authentisches Kunsterlebnis hin überprüft werden können. The students had a provocative idea right at the beginning. Let's simply take a music loop to the museum, where people simply dance and let them produce further art through movement tracked by cameras, visually and compositionally. It really is a testimonial to the boldness of the Kunsthalle that this was achieved and can be experienced today. A music loop in an art museum? Where else can you find something like this? What interested us with the sculpture disco was that we placed the visitor right in the middle. When they first enter the space it is empty, then it is animated, and they themselves can truly interact with the music and influence the image. At specified intervals, snapshots are taken. Every visitor designs this space completely by themselves. And other areas also strongly bind in the contexts of music, sound and visual art experience. Virtual and augmented reality, always at the limit of what is technically possible and what can be explored aesthetically too. These 360-degree cameras can effectively transport you to another location. I filmed an artwork from within or outside the museum, so I put on the glasses and I will quite simply be in that place. And a recent development in the past two to three years is, it is now linked with the acoustic representation. I believe that showing the development of artistic work is a highly important task of the creative lab here. Of course what we need for this are young people. This cannot be done by seasoned curators. This is why we're so glad that our music design course was allowed to play such a large role, particularly in the field of music. How can we turn a bronze sculpture into a multi-sensory experience? Rudolf Belling created this round sculpture titled Dreiklang Triad. He did not specify which perspective is the most important, but left it to the viewers which perspective they choose themselves, and also gave them the freedom to look around. And for example, there was an idea with the work Dreiklang to involve dancers who guide your attention, and position the musicians, so if I want to listen to a musician, I will have to turn towards them. A room full of artworks by Anselm Kiefer. These were expanded by an audiovisual 360 degree composition with screens and noises that underpin its dark atmosphere. 
Ich habe mich dann inspirieren lassen von I was inspired by the different perspectives, the overview, the up close view, and I attempted to turn the impression I got from the sculpture into sound. Hands on. Choose your material, choose your sound. In virtual reality, the museum visitor becomes a sculptor. Here, students of the Hochschule Furtwangen have programmed an app. We in Trossingen have brought it to life with our sounds, so now the visitors can create their own sculpture in the virtual room in the museum. The digital strategy allows us to combine this new openness, mobility and daily life with our visitors by implementing them directly in it. This means the digital strategy has become fundamental to our museum work. The exciting thing about this collaboration was that the questions asked of the museum in the 21st century, of the music design course and of the Landeszentrum music design performance are all fundamentally the same. This close correlation and willingness to explore the unknown with this creative lab is the ideal platform for our cooperation also in the future. Thank you.